means there are some times you don't you don't borrow. But when you borrow, return. Have the habit to return people's things. Some people will come and borrow your your spoon and your fake and they will not even return it. And that's gonna be very annoying. Trust me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kosi Okoye. If this is your first time of seeing my face, hi, welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notification bell that lets you know when next I release a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming in again, again, and again. I will not stop saying thank you for the love on my videos, guys. Thank you so much and the love on my videos. I feel so loved. Oh, what a shame. So, guys. Today's video is all about preparation materials you need before you uh, enter any university of your choice. For you enter any university of your choice, the things you need to prepare for material-wise, food stuff, your clothing, everything material-wise that you need to prepare for before going to any university of your choice. Now. Before we go on with this video, if you know you've not subscribed to this channel, please, please, please subscribe. Subscribe! The goal is to get to 100 subscribers, guys. The goal is to get to 100 subscribers before next month. Yes, before next month. That's the goal, guys. So please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Are you guys not liking me? Subscribe to my channel, okay? Yes, I know you're gonna do that. So guys, let's move straight into this video of today. Okay, so guys, before I even go, before I even start, you need to have a budget. You need to do what? You need to have a budget before even planning and preparing. How much transport will I use to take me to school? How much is foodstuffs now? You will just write all the foodstuff you need, calculate everything. How much is my provision? How much is this that I need to buy? Have a budget and work with your budget. Make sure you don't work out of your budget. Have a budget. Have the money, like have your budget price and everything before you start buying your stuff and so guys, I'm going to start with the list of materials you need before going into uni, okay? First of all, let's start with your academic materials, okay? Because that's like the, the main reason you're going there to study, alright? You will need your textbooks, you will need your notebooks, you will need your biro, you will need materials. Now, I know that entry into school as a fresher or before you even before you even resume, you might not know the courses you're taking and you might not know like the particular course. You might know, yes, I'm studying, probably you're studying math form now. You might not know the courses under that math form. So what I would advise is like, you can like go and research, you can go online and just type out courses on the math form or any other course, any other course that you've chosen to study. Go and go and check out the materials you need. Materials are online. Go and check out the materials you need. Check out the textbooks you need, and just prepare for that. Okay, your biro, your your notebook, your laptop if you have, your what again? You need is a bag that it's it's like good for classes that you can put all the things, all the things can fit to it. Fit into it. Now, if you're studying a course like mine, the finance. That I don't really do um, theory courses. We do theory courses, but not like all the time. Our major, 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 major focus in that department is um, practical. Now, if you're a finance student or you are a, any student of any course that deals with more of practical, if you want to buy it practical already. So you need this academic materials before going into school because you don't want to go into school and not have all this your academic materials ready. I mean, what does that say about you? Mm? You need all of that, okay? And now I will not even really blame so many persons that don't even know all these things, especially those that want to get into finance that didn't have in mind so many courses they'll be taking like me. I didn't even know I was going to do sculpture, so I didn't prepare for spatulas, all different things for my sculpting. I didn't really prepare. It was when I got to school, I had to, and it was even when I got to school, I got I got my drawing board, I got my um, pencils because it was 
I feel like it's, it's even better when you get to school, when you get to your school, any state, even though you're not living in that state, it's better when you get there by because it's, it's not really be easy to travel with those things because I stay in Lagos, traveling with all the things I'll buy on my dream board, dream board that is this big, buy everything and I'll start traveling down to school. It will not even be possible. So if you can do that, if you can buy the things where you're staying, if you can buy it and travel down with it to your school in any state, that will be better. But if you cannot, just wait till you get to school before you buy them. But things like books, pe uh, pencils, biros, textbook, those ones, they are very handy. You can put it in your luggage. Do not forget to get your academic materials ready, okay? So next up, I'm going to food stuff. You need food to survive in school. You need food stuff. So I'm going to mention in like list of food stuffs that you need to get. You need raw rice. You need raw beans. You need gari, raw gari. You need indomie. If you can buy two packets, it's now very very costly and pricey now. So just do as your budget can carry. If you can buy two packets, you buy. You need indomie. Spaghetti, you need condiments like curry, thyme, kitchen dory, any condiments, any spice you use, you need that. Buy them in bulk, buy them like one roll, two, two rolls. Just buy them as your budget can reach you, okay? Just buy them like that. You need your seasoning cubes, you need grinded crayfish, you need grinded pepper, you need granite oil, you need palm oil. You know all these things. You know now. You you should know what your what you use to cook at home. All these things you need to you use to cook at home. At home, you need them in school also because like you are living there. Unless you're schooling in a state that you live normally, then you can go home and come to school. Then you might not have a problem with that. But if you know you are leaving your state and you are going to another state entirely, make sure you really calm down to get your food stores just like calm down when i was going to school all the the buses i was entering they were thinking i was going to marry because my mother she packed <laughs> she packed food stuffs like as if i was never coming back to the house again so just prepare those food stuff because it might not it might not even just be easy for you to now like get to your state where you want to school and i start going to buy because you might not be conversant with the environment you might not even know how the market works you just walking up and down so it's advisable to just get your food stuff before you travel at least you can travel with that any food you know that you like just carry it along with you okay so guys next thing is provision now don't underestimate the power of provision guys provisions are really helpful like your tea your your milk your conflicts goldimon cocoa pops biscuits have biscuits provisions provisions like it really really helps honestly because it's not all the time you it's not every time you have strength to be cooking like you'll be cooking money afternoon night i tell you it's not all the time you have strength to even cook at all sometimes two days you will not cook but when you have provisions you can back you can back yourself up with provisions you can take golden more take your cornflakes take your cocoa pops or the provisions you like sweet string gum plantain chips biscuits chin chin peanuts chocolate bars your chocolate everything that you know you like as a person provisions please buy them provisions are really 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 important provisions are what really really important as food stuff is important provision also important okay so moving on next to your body kits you as a person already know what you use take care of yourself but for those that don't really know what to buy as you're going to because of course your house cannot be how your school is it's not possible even if you're going to a private uni your house cannot be how your school is the way you take care of your house is not how your university will be unless you're staying off campus then you can now do your room uh pimp your room take care of your room as you want it to be but if you have in mind of staying in your school university then you should need all these personal hygiene like tissues you need tissue if you can get enough of tissue remember work with your budget you need tissue paper you need aseptic especially if you are going to a federal university especially if you are going to a federal university 
you need a cosmetic. You need washing soaps like powder soaps. You need soaps for washing your plate. You need um you need your your body basin soap. I'm sure you already have a brand you are using. You need that. You need to get it in bulk so that when it finishes, you can like you know have more to back up. Not that when the thing is finished now, you now be left stranded. You know, no. And what if you now go to a state that your your body soap they don't sell it there. You get so you need to have it in bulk. So as you're going, you have in mind that okay, oh, the next time I'm buying again is when I come back home for holiday. So you need to have it in bulk. Your body cream too. Make sure you buy it so that when it when it gets exhausted, you can have another one to back it up. Okay. You also need your sponge. Yes, you need a new. You, I would advise you to buy a new sponge. I know you are you, you have a sponge that you're using in your house. But I will advise you to get a new sponge. You are going, you are starting a new life, so everything should be new. Do you know that feeling? So get a body sponge and also a sponge to wash your plates. Yes, I forgot to buy a sponge to wash my plates when I was going into school. So before I even like before I finally had a washing a washing plate sponge, it was in my three hundred level. So don't forget to buy. Plate sponge. As you're buying sponge for your body, make sure you buy sponge to be washing your plates. Next up is deodorants, like okay, perfumes. You know what you like, you know what you use, so you should want to get like like I said, buy plenty according to your budget. According to your budget, just buy according to your budget, so you'll not be left stranded. If you have money, buy plenty. Do you understand? So the next up is for ladies, you know, you need your sanity price. Don't if, I don't even think it's something you can forget. It's not possible. You can't forget something like that. So you need that and okay, I think that's all for like our personal hygiene. So moving on to food utensils, you need plates, spoon, cup, fork, you need knife. Now I want to this one. I suppose this save this one for like the last because some students that do this thing like it's really really not nice. How can you come to school without having these things? No, who do you who do you expect to be giving you this this, this thing? Even if see, I know that some persons are actually training themselves in school. Okay, that one I understand. But you can still buy this thing. If you have one plate, one freck, one spoon one cup one knife <laughs> it's one knife you have before now but if you have all these things one 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 when you finish using them you wash immediately and keep some people don't even like borrowing people their their spoons or their plates and some people are generous to give like me and it's not nice don't be too generous with your stuff because some people will just take advantage of you they will just spoil it lost your spoon lost your plate so when you're going to school Get, have your own property. There's nothing like having a property or like your own property. Have it. Plate. Spoon. Not that you'll be borrowing, borrowing people's things. It's not nice to borrow people's people's plate, people's spoon and then you, some person will not even return it. It's not nice. So even if you don't have money, if you don't, even if you don't have someone that's supposed to you, you're training yourself, get one one, one one, at least from there. And let me tell you something like, if you come in as a hundred level students with one one thing, because I don't know how other um, uni works, but for Federal University, I know this that if you are staying in the hostel, all right, then um, if the final year students that are graduating, they we do something like we do something called parting gifts. So you can you can just like meet them politely, be nice, and be like, ah, I shall go in. No, I want this shirt. They will give it to you because they are not using it to do anything again. We call it parting gifts, okay? So they will give you anything. Like me, when I when I was coming into uh, in school, I had I had all these plates, all these uh, utensils, but I didn't have plate rack. Now in my three hundred level, I have a plate rack. I have a basket like this. This trolley to put your stuff people gave them to me as parting gifts you know so you can just start small buy small one 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 thing don't go to school empty looking for who will be giving you their stuff it's not nice have your own things so you need your plate you need spoon cut knife 
you need both yes you need actually you actually need both to like wash your rice to if you buy fruit to put your fruit in there you need both to you know you also need both it's very essential too you need buckets of course you will need buckets you need even if you can have two types of bucket like your cooking bucket and your normal baking bucket even if you can't buy so much no problem there is no problem at all because when you you before as you're going to 200 level 300 level you will have these things people that are graduating they will give you this thing for packing gifts if you say i use buckets you want i want your bucket so i don't have bucket they will give you your bucket if it's cooking bucket if it's baking bucket they will give it to you but just make sure that as you're coming into school just have even if it's a small one that's not so expensive have just have because in federal university i don't know if all if all federal university experience it but in my school there are sometimes there to be water scarcity like thorough thorough water scarcity in this condition now if you don't have a bucket have you to because when there are water scarcity like this everyone is struggling to fight what uh, fetch water in their own bucket that's why you see you will see you will see one students with five buckets they will fill water in all the buckets and keep someone like you that does not bring any buckets how you say you want to use the legs nobody will even give you that water because water scarcity everyone is struggling for water so how do you think you will cope so just make sure you have just buy buckets even if you don't you don't just, just have this in buy it okay you need water carrier or bela we call it bela that's the thing you need to like fetch your you can you don't even have to buy expensive there's in your house i'm sure you used to when you go for parties they give you this takeaway plate you can use it wash it use the takeaway plate we using it to pour water on your body we using it to scoop water you can use it just to manage yourself if you can buy a new beautiful bella and a flashy one fine you can buy buy them okay just have have these things have these properties good to have property i'm telling you even if you don't have so much like i said just buy all these things it's very very necessary because if you are going to a federal school it's very very necessary i'm telling you now mm -hmm. so trades trades are actually optional you might not really need to but i had like i said it was a thing <laughs> my mommy planned like i was never coming back home i had tray i had both i had everything <laughs> And now I have them multi multi they are now multiplied because you know I've collected from financial students that have been graduating, passing gifts, I've collected, I have you know all this is and when I also graduated, I have students that will tell me, okay, I want this as my passing gift, so I want this as my passing gift. That's how it is. That's how it is in Federal University, honestly speaking. So next off is you need stove or gas. Or hot plates. Anyone your school allow your school allow you to go. I know private university students don't even cook in the first place. But I have friends that in private uni they still buy an um, electric electric job. Yes. You need kettle. I just remembered. You need kettle. Although it's not really important because your pots is true. You need kettle. You need pots. You need fry pan. You need. Aside the um, spoon you, you, you need to you use for eating, you need dishing spoon too. So if you can use the spoon you use to eat to dish your food, no problem. You can use it to turn your food, stir your food, no problem. But you need dishing spoons, even if it's only one you have. If you're washing it and sharing it for the day, you cook rice and stew. You will also finish cooking your rice, you wash it and eat it for your stew. You can manage, okay? You need dishing spoon, you need pots, you need frying pan. You need kettle now. This fry pan and kettle, you might not really. If you don't really have the money, it's, you might just leave it aside because you already have pots. You can use your pot to fry whatever you want to fry. You can use your pot to boil water. You can use it. But if you want to like live like me and now, I have pot, fry pan, kettle, everything. I have non steel, non steel pan. Yes my mother she did everything for me like you know that's that's how to prepare for so that you will live a comfortable life even if you are staying in your school hostel and if the environment is not so comfortable make your stay there comfortable have everything you need make it comfortable for your life honestly speaking just have these things to be comfortable but if you don't have money no problem just work with your budget work with your budget so you're not gonna overspend because you even need you even need money I, this one is supposed to even be number one. You need 
money. Because it's even money you use to buy these things. So you need money, don't worry. God will provide. He always provides. So you need money. So, like I was saying, you need your kettle pots, frying pan, your gas stove or hot plates. Like in my school now, they don't even allow gas. They allow only stove pots, you know. Now. <laughs> Our heads, we, we stop one. <laughs> Some people use gas, some people use stove, hot plates. Just, just be smart. Just if you know that, if you know your school don't allow these things, and you, and you cannot, and your school probably only allows you to use stoves, and you cannot use stove. You want to use gas or you want to use hot plates. Just be smart because if what I catch you, they will steal it from you. So be smart about it, okay? Just be very, very smart. So you need, yeah, you need your iron. You need pressing iron actually. See this pressing iron here. So many people are actually guilty of it. I am number one. So now I don't even have a pressing iron, but when I'm going back, I'll make sure I have a pressing iron. You need pressing iron because sometimes your clothes roll gets rumpled and you just have to change the clothes because you just you do not even see who to borrow iron from. You need to use borrow pressing iron from. You need you need pressing iron really really important so that you always be clean and clean to practice from anywhere you're going to. You need pressing iron. So if your school allows you to bring in fridge, fine, you can bring in fridge if you have the means to do that or you're staying off campus, you, you, you will need your fridge if you have money so that you'll be storing your food in there. It's really, really important. Then if you're staying off campus, you don't have to worry about um, you not, not having a cost. Who is, who is, who is uh, watching you in your house? Because you can have your gas, you can have your hospital stove, anyone you can afford. Soft life, you want to live comfortable, afford anyone you want to afford. You can have a washing machine, you can have... You can have anything, anything you, you know you want to have, but in hostels, why can't we should take to all these things? Because I don't even know what's their problem, but that's how the thing is. If you can buy brew mop from your house, you can buy it, but if you can, it, it's, I feel like it's just best when you get to still to buy this thing. Sure. Your roommates can have this thing, just pray to have good roommates that will like brewing with that stuff. Just know when you use it, return it, return it properly, okay? So if you don't want to recognize anybody, you can have your own brood, have your packer, have your, have your mom. But, like, I, if you guys watch my previous video, I'll leave the link up there. As a 100 level student, especially in my school or probably any other school, 100 level students don't really have, like, the means to really do anything because you're all punk, you get. But there are some schools and there are some private universities that even as a 100 level student, you are still very comfortable. Yeah, like private unis and some other yeah, federal unis that has private hostels and all. You just just work according to how your university works, okay? I think we've come to the end of this video. I hope this video was really, really helpful to you guys. Now you know the things you need to get prepared for before going into that university of your choice. Or even if you just got admission before resuming. Now you know the things to prepare for. You need... I will not even stop hammering on the fact that even if you don't have money, get one plate, one spoon, one fret, one cup, one just buy them in small bunk before before you graduate. I'm telling you, you will have a lot of things so far. You have good character. Because if you are going into school without good character and you now want to now go and meet 400 level students, I say, eh, hey, please, I want to borrow, I want to have this as passing gift. Who will give you? Everybody will give you because your character is bad. So just be very, very humble. Especially as a hundred of students in federal university or that stay in school hostel. That stay in school hostel. Just be humble so that even without even you begging them, they will ask you. Now you guys start preparing right. That's the thing. Like I said, oh, prepare with a budget. Have a budget before you start buying stuff. Go to the market check out the prices of things or even if you can't go on your own send someone to help you do that check out the prices of things prices of food stuff now prices of buckets of all the things you know you need like i like i mentioned all the things you know check out the prices and work with your budget on this thing blender electric blender if you have money to buy electric blender no problem but if you don't have there's um, this manual blender yes this manual blender is really really helpful i forgot to mention the area it's really really helpful like you just want to make 
quick small stew or just grind something to make your indomie you don't have to start going to outside to pay for all these people to grind it for you you can just use your blender you should get that one that one is also important so just try to work with your budget prepare right okay prepare right before even resuming all right so guys comes to the end of this video hope the video was helpful please if you've not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe all right because i'll be giving you guys this you know now you know so subscribe to my channel like this video comment share it to people they think need this we've come to the end of this video see you guys in my next video till then stay good stay calm stay stay blessed okay bye guys